I want to introduce you to my very first virtual reality printmaking workshop. We're going to start with the Google Cardboard VR headset. I've just put it together and when I put it on it looks like this. Fits right over my glasses, no problem. And uh, inside, you can't see it, but uh, inside I would be looking at my smartphone which would be tucked inside and it would be connected on the internet to one of the virtual reality printmaking lessons. That's all in the future of course. It hasn't happened yet but I'm working today to make sure it does happen. Now it's going to take a long time but I'm sure just as it has been true in my past that getting there is going to be most of the fun. As they say, the journey is more important than the destination. To begin with, just working on the Google Cardboard headset, I've discovered that I can probably make this with wood the same way I did with the half wood etching press. In fact, uh, because there's such an interest in steampunk in connection with my press, because of the wood and the kind of Victorian design of it, it's going to be very easy to convert this cardboard set into a hardwood, brass, and plastic headset made to be used with a smartphone. So, hope you found this interesting. I'm Bill Ritchie. Thanks for watching. What I'm trying to do is to show virtual reality for printmaking and I'm using as my model the cardboard the Google Cardboard uh, thing that's cost about five anywhere from five to fifteen dollars and which I learned about by looking at online at creative classroom innovations using technologies and the kids in the classroom featured in this uh, we're all fitted with these $5 Google Cardboard VR and they had their uh, smartphones I don't see them but there's a smartphone inside my smartphone and I have logged into Google's interface and among the little tutorials is one that shows masks Native American masks and these are carved by Rand Cook R-A-N-D-E Cook, C-O-O-K. And uh, I have looked at one mask, and now I'm looking, I can find the button to switch to the next one. This one is called the Chief's Mask by Rand Cook. Beautiful mask. Now, when I look at these, I think of the project I'm working on with Ed Robb, which is called the Canoe Halfwood Press. Now, I'm looking at Rand Cook's masks based on Native American legends, stories, and so forth. But in my imagination, I'm thinking of the canoe halfwood press that Ed Robb has carved and painted. And so, by engaging a group of people who have the expertise to make this relatively simple application of virtual reality, we will show in all three-dimensional views, the beautiful hand-carved canoe halfwood press. That's my thinking, and I hope you enjoyed watching me try to show this to you. I'm Bill Ritchie.